Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well as turn the post notification bell also down below for my channel to be notified of all of my future uploads. So today's video is going to be about this hair that you see on my head. This is a wig that I was sent from sunlighthair.com. When I opened up my package, I received this black box. This package was sent to me through FedEx Express two-day shipping, so the shipping was really quick. So when you first get your box, you are going to receive a pair of eyelashes um, with your hair. It has their social media information down on the bottom of the package. And it doesn't look like it came with any hair care instructions or anything like that. So the specs on the wig that I was sent is that it is 20 inches, it is Indian straight textured, $194 on their website and there is a 30 day return policy. So for the wig construction, there are four combs. There's a comb on either side of my ear. There's one in the center here and then there's also one in the back as well as an adjustable strap in the back as well. And because this is a lace frontal wig, there is limited parting. There is about three and a half inches of parting space from my forehead on backwards and then the sides give you about two inches of parting space um, and then the rest are just wefted tracks and because this hair was so thin when I took it out the package I did have to go on their website purchase two bundles of hair and then I had to literally sew bundles on top of the weft um, that this wig came with to make this hair fuller than what it was so this wig is much thicker now that I added more wefts to it than it was when I first took it out of the package so here's a better look at how the wig looks when you first take it out of the package. This is the full density with all of the hair to the front of my face. And as you can see, this is all of the hair to one side. And this is after I added two bundles of that Peruvian straight hair from sunlighthair.com. I did pay for the extra bundles with my own money. As you can see, it's a huge difference. The hair is much fuller now, um, and I can do more with it as far as styling goes. I did want to show you guys how stretchy the cap still is, although I did hand sew the wefts onto this wig cap. You can still see I have that same stretch and elasticity from the wig cap. But after I did get the density that I was going for, I did go ahead and put bleach on this hair. I knew that I was going for this copper, brick red type of color. So I um, bleached it a total of two times. The first time I just put bleach on the entire wig and then after that I balayaged it. So I basically lightened it in different sections throughout this wig and then I mixed two different hair dyes together. Um, I used Adore's copper brown as well as a half a bottle of paprika and I mix that together to get a custom color. So this wig is different variations of this brick red or ginger color all throughout because you have lighter areas and you also have darker areas of this color and yeah I think it came out beautifully. It's a gorgeous color. So the hairline on this wig was not bad when I first took it out of the package. I do like the fact that the hairline came pre-plucked and it also had a really natural looking hairline so it didn't have any weird curves. Um, some hairlines are like really weird. They'll have like this arc in the center of your forehead. It didn't have that. It was really, really natural. I did not have to pluck much hairs from the hairline. However, I did go ahead and pluck more hairs from it um, than it came. And then I also bleached the knots as well as tinted the lace to make it look as natural as possible. But because it looks good when it first comes out of the package you don't necessarily have to do that. I do like the fact that the lace on this wig that they sent me is really soft and it does like blend and melt into your skin. I did get some shedding but it wasn't crazy and excessive. So after I colored this hair I did flat iron it and it did flat iron really straight. I should have left it straight actually because once I tried to curl it it didn't really curl. I had my curling wand on the highest setting and it didn't really curl at all and as you can see it didn't hold a curl either because it really looks like I didn't do nothing to it so that is the downside that I would have to say about this hair and when I first took the hair out of the packaging it wasn't the softest texture that I've ever been sent. I did deep condition it really well and it did bring back some of the softness to this hair. Um, and it does move as well. I would suggest wearing this hair in a straight state instead of curling it like I did. But if you do decide to curl it, I've been lately with all these, well, with companies in general, I have been noticing that 
hair just doesn't hold curls. So if you are trying to get a really curly hairstyle, I would definitely suggest using flexi rods or some type of wet roller set to make the curls last because otherwise it's going to end up like this. And I don't even think I brushed this hair. Like I, I finger combed it a few times, but I have not even put a brush to it and the curls are non-existent as you can see. So that's pretty much the end of this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section as well as check down below in the description box. I'll have all of the information to sunlighthair.com and all of the direct links for you guys to click on down below in the description box as well as the tutorial on how to get this hair color. You guys like my hair color? Yes. <laughs> my name is Beige. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as well as turn on the post notification bell if you have not already. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.